Welcome to Life Happens, where Texans come to protect their legacy and prepare for the second half of life. Join your host, attorney Kim Hegwood with Hegwood Law Group and our weekly guest as we navigate the challenges that emerge as life happens. Now here's your host, Kim Hegwood. Good morning and welcome to Life Happens with me, Kim Hegwood, and my very special guest, Benjamin, who we all know now is my new tech guy. And so uh, we love talking about seniors and how to make sure that they are well cared for, uh, you know, because it's, you know, it's a passion of mine. Obviously, it's a passion of Benjamin's as well. And um, and so so we're going to talk about talk about that today. So, Benjamin, thank you for being on the show again. Yeah. So I love this series that we're doing. I'm super excited about it. And uh, so what kind of tools do we have in order to coordinate um, care for a loved one? So maybe there's more than one person potentially, you know, needing to provide care. What can we do? There are definitely quite a few apps in this space. Some are sponsored by insurance plans. Some are um, standalone. The one I'll mention is called carely.com, C-A-R-E-L-Y dot com and it's developed by the same people who run caregiving.com which is um a major site you can go to for lots of resources related to to caring for a loved one um and it the idea behind it is you create your care circle right you, you have the elder at the center of it and then you have maybe your brother your sister maybe their husband, maybe a, a grandchild, maybe a couple neighbors. Um, then you have healthcare professionals as well that you can integrate into that care circle. And so when something happens to the older person, you're not having to make 10 phone calls, right? You're not having to do long text message group texts that annoy people because they don't want to get them in the middle of the night. But whenever you need to make your post, you post it. You just say, here's what's going on with dad. Here's his lab results here's what's going on with the bills here's what's going on with who, i can't take him to his appointment can any of you take him to his appointment right where you can have that care coordination you can have a calendar everybody can see what's going on in his life who's visiting it's always annoying when it's like okay i'm gonna go visit dad today you get there and you're like your brother's there with all their kids and you're like oh i drove an hour over here and i didn't need to do that right now you can solve all of that because there's this one central place to communicate around who's visiting, who's driving him, who's giving him his meds, how's the how's the appointment going, who's taking him to the VA, all that kind of stuff in one spot. So where do you do that at? Well, it's called Carely. Okay, uh, so Carely, that's right. You did tell Carely. me that. And so yeah. I got so caught up, I totally missed that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so... So we have them, um, have the family coordinating, have that taken care of. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next thing that usually comes up is uh, managing medication. So how do we do that? Yeah, I mean, you can use the old fashioned pill box, right? Set it up every Sunday. Um, and that works for a senior who just takes their pills. You know, they're going to take them. You trust they're taking them. What if the senior, you don't know if they actually take the pills or not? What if they need to be reminded and you don't want to have to call them every day, three times a day around what they're going to need to take? Maybe you have some pills that are narcotics that someone else in the house might sneak out of that pill box. That's where some electronic digital medication management systems can come into play. Hero Health, MedMinder, Ocpria, these are examples of medication devices that can, some of, some of them can recognize the person's face, which could be important if you have multiple people living in the home and one of them might be stealing pills from the loved one, well, it's only going to dispense the medication if the elder is standing or sitting right in front of the device and getting their pills, right? Um, some of them can alert you if the elder did not come to the device to take their pills. So you know they did not take that dose. Some of them only dispense if the elder is right there. Uh, some of them can 
see whether or not they took their medication. Some of them can remind the, the older person, hey, it's time for your 12 o'clock pills. Some of them can manage multiple times of day. So like these two at eight, this one at noon, right? Versus you having to have like three boxes and big bold letters on it saying, only take this one at noon, right? And take the, uh. So mm -hmm. those are examples. Hero Health, MedMinder, Oc Korea. Um, though, but there's a lot of people coming to the space. So you can also Google, you know, digital medication reminder, and then add any features you want. Did a digital medication um, uh, management, facial recognition, you know, alerts to families, put in your specific features um, because every one of them is a little different, right? Some of them look more like a robot with a little, um, kind of cup that gets dispensed. You put a cup underneath and it puts the pills in. Others look more like a calendar and there's like a bunch of boxes and, you know, it flips open the right box at the right time for the person. They're all very different. So you got to pick the one that works for your loved one. So we have in our office, our office dog. <laughs> and so... And uh, for those of you uh, that want to see Bentley, he's on our website under Junior Associate. <laughs> and so, uh, because um, A, you know, it's interesting how much we enjoy Bentley here. He belongs to one of my team members. And, uh, but the clients love Bentley. I've only had one client who was deathly afraid of dogs that Bentley was more afraid of her screaming than, than her of, of him because he's just a little dog. But we're finding that pets seem to be doing a lot for seniors. Um, and so, so how do you make sure that the pets get taken care of when, you know, mom and dad have that pet and they're struggling to take care of themselves um, because that could be problematic. Yeah. So again, wherever the senior calls home, um, if they have a pet and they're aging, in a way that's changing their abilities or their cognitive abilities. How I'm gonna be able to take care of that pet becomes bigger and bigger issue. You know, we have at Kelsch communities, we have independent living communities where people move in and they're totally taking care of themselves or they're ordering services like ordering home care to come in and help them. Um, but they live independently in beautiful apartments, um, meals provided, things like that. But for pets, like we don't offer a pet care program. I mean, we have a concierge who might be willing to do, you know, they could pay a service to have them come in and help take care of the pet. Um, but for a lot of families, right, the family becomes very attached to the pet. They really care about it. And so the family starts to take care of not only the older person, but also the pet. Sometimes that caregiver, that family caregiver starts to make decisions that may be negatively impacting their health because they care so much about the pet and mom talking to a friend of mine the other day who's, who should know better. If she's watching, she knows who she is. Um, she was, you know, really stressing over taking care of the pet and going every day. And it was a, it was really hard on her emotionally because of the relationships and the house, things like that. And she has a full-time job. And we have tools today to make sure a pet is fed to make sure litter boxes are changed all robotically, like all robotically. Um, Chewy.com, you all know that brand. They've got their own brand of remote pet care programs. Litter-Robot, that's for cats, changes the litter box for you. Petlibro.com. These are devices that help a pet get food, water, and then for cats changing litter. And of course, that doesn't solve everything. You know, dogs need to go outside, need to use the restroom, et cetera. They need baths, et cetera. But the daily, do they have their food? Do they have enough water, right? We don't need to have a caregiver driving an hour across town to check on that in 2022. These devices can take care of that for you. Monitor. Some of them have Wi-Fi sensors and you can check in on stuff. I mean, you can go, you can go to town if you want to, but at least you can make sure that water and food is ready for Fido and you don't need to be there once a day to check on it. Yeah, it was like, my dogs are pretty spoiled. Um, you know, they get that can in the evening of the, uh, what I consider 
crap food. Their dry food's the good stuff, but they get a half a can of, you know, the stuff that's probably dessert, you know, more so than any benefits. Um, but worse, when I get ready to leave, because when I bought my new house, and you walk outside, the dogs can run out the doggy door. Love doggy doors. Uh, and they go to the fence and they would whine when I would get ready to drive off. So now they get chew bones in the morning. <laughs> so hand them a bone to go chew on and they can't whine at me when I leave. <laughs> so right. like, I'm going to need something to dispense uh, bones to the dogs daily. So I need you to find that for me, Benjamin. <laughs> it's going to be important because <laughs> so, they are really, really rotten. And so, so we've already now discussed that the dogs are probably better taken care of than me these days. <laughs> and so uh, what do we do to make sure that, you know, that senior gets proper nutrition? And so how do we help them do that? Yeah, that's another big issue, right? Families are often thinking through, how do I get mom to appointments? How do I get mom fed? How do I make sure mom gets a shower? And how do I take care of the dogs? Like those are the four things that'll often be the biggest weight on family members. Unless of course, someone's even more advanced than being changed regularly. Uh, personal care becomes another issue. But those four things impact most families caring for a loved one. And so if we can solve the food one, because the food is three times a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. If we can get that one to be a little less intense then maybe we can focus on some of the more important, not more important, but things that require a little bit more of my time as the adult child. Um, I really don't need to be spending it on shuttling food back and forth to mom and making sure there's, you know, buying groceries a couple times a week. And like, there's probably better things for me to do with my time that will impact mom better in 2022. Um, you know, we know already there's a lot of options with food, right? You've got your DoorDash and your Grubhub and you've got, you know, Whole Foods and all those stores have tons of ready-made options you can buy that aren't TV dinners. There's all kinds of options like that to the, at this point, right? Um, and so I'm not going to go into those because some of those will be right for certain families. Um, but I want to focus on the uh, something a little even easier, like go to your computer, order, done right? And we know about things like HelloFresh and all these new boxed meal companies. Most of them though, and the reason why a lot of families don't use it with an elder is you still have to cook what's in the box. It's all the ingredients are sent to you. You have to cook it. Well, I did some research to find the companies that offer the same level of service. You go online, pick what you want, and then they just ship you everything done. Like it's done, just heat it up. And so um, sunbasket.com Factor75.com, Healthrageous, and FoodSmart. These are four companies trying to make ready-to-eat meals, easy to order, have delivered, and actually be healthy for you. Because that is one of the problems with DoorDash or Grubhub is you're going to go a lot of burgers, you're going to do a lot of Mexican food, a lot of Chinese food and Thai food. And some of them might be healthy, but a lot of it isn't. And so you really want to be careful to rely on that that model, a model is also fairly expensive. I mean, one Thai dish on DoorDash, you're looking at 25, 30 bucks. And so um, these other programs are going to have a much lower price point than $30 a meal um, because they're, they're bringing it all in one box and it's on ice. And then you can put it in the fridge and heat things up or put it in the freezer, heat things up. So that those would be a couple um, to look for. There's a lot, I couldn't put them all down because there's a lot of companies trying to solve this. And some of these companies are connected with health insurance plans, um, Medicare Advantage plans. And so if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you may want to check in with them and say, hey, do you have any kind of meal service or meal credit or credit towards a meal service or discounts? Because these Medicare Advantage plans understand that if seniors are eating healthy food, they're not going to be as likely to go to the hospital and need expensive medical care. One other one would be Jelly Drops. Jelly Drops was developed out of the UK by a young man whose mom had dementia or grandma had dementia, but she wouldn't drink. She was getting dehydrated. So he created these little tiny jelly-like candies that you eat. And I think you eat, I don't know, six or seven, and you get a whole cup of liquid that way. And so 
Um, that, that's a good one for someone with dementia who just does not want to drink anything but coffee and you need them to be hydrated. You get them the jelly drops and they just snack on them and they're hydrated. Wow. That's good stuff. And so, and, uh, I have to, I walk around with the water, uh, with my Yeti cup and how many times I fill it a day and, you know, to make sure that I get the required amount of water these days and I'm probably still behind. And so. So one last thing those, let's talk about before we kind of close for the day. So let's talk about um, tools and things for like adaptable clothing, disposable sheets, you know, things that um, that help seniors, you know, get in and out of clothing quicker, you know, and make changing the beds easier, that sort of thing. Yeah. So let's start with the bed, right? I mean, if you have issues with incontinence, if you are not strong enough to be changing your bed frequently, you're going to be in a more dependent situation. We're going to need more person power to help you live at home or in your assisted living or in your independent living. You're going to need more help. Um, one of the sheets that's the hardest to change is the bottom sheet. And that's the sheet that's going to be the most soiled if there's an accident. So if we can solve that and make that easier, there's a better chance someone's not even going to need anybody help, anybody's help if they have an accident. They may need help every one or two weeks doing a full bed change, but they don't need it as frequently. Um, so Peel Away Labs has developed waterproof, super soft, disposable sheets and you put five on at a time. That's how they come. They come in a in a one layer of fitted sheets, but there's actually five of them. So if the top one gets sold, you just peel off the top layer, bunch it up, throw it in the trash, and then you have four more layers left. And then you just do that. And when you're down to the bottom, that's when you might need help. Someone to help you make your bed, put a whole new one on the bottom. Uh, but mo you know, a lot of seniors who are able to to at least get in and out of bed, we'll be able to peel off a sheet and throw it in the trash, right? They're still going to be able to do that. They may not be able to take the whole bed apart, but they can at least do that. Um, these are also, because of how soft they are, they're really good for people with um, who are at risk of bed sores. And so if someone's in their bed a lot, this can also help. This can also just help the caregiver, right? Even if the elder can't, if it is not helping the elder be more independent, it may help the caregiver not to have to change the whole bed so often, and help them keep that bed as clean and dry. Because it's easy as a caregiver to kind of fudge a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'll, I got to go to work, you know. Um, but that may not be the best for that elder's skin integrity. And so if we can make it easier on the caregiver so they can get it off, keep it clean. Adaptive clothing is a big one. We're starting to see more and more people. I think Kim Kardashian just developed a line of adaptive underwear, I believe. Um, so we're seeing more... Um, more interest in this area. Attention Grace is an entire line of um, of uh, incontinence products that's um, very discreet and very, um, uh, I believe they're claiming to be like very feminine, very, um, you know, not kind of the, um, a lot of the marketing is very kind of clunky around incontinence products. So Attention Grace has uh, really trying to rethink that because uh, they they don't believe we should have clunky, outdated, outdated fashion in that regard. Joe and Bella is a fashion brand that's focused exclusively on adaptive clothing and shoes. And if you're not familiar with adaptive clothing, um, just imagine trying to put pants on and off when I'm sitting in a wheelchair. Imagine trying to help someone put on a sweater, a shirt, and you're the caregiver doing that. Uh, imagine casts on, imagine situations where a leg isn't working or an arm isn't working. Like all these scenarios, putting on and off clothing becomes very difficult. Getting on and off a toilet and getting dressed all these things become so much more difficult. Sometimes it's, I want to still dress myself, but I can't reach as well. My fingers don't work as well. And so adaptive clothing really solves a lot of that. We're talking about uh, maybe there's zippers on the shoulders. They're hidden, but they're there. So I can take off my shirt without having to go over the head and over the arms and, oh, that hurts, right? I don't have to do that. I can just unzip or unclip, shirt falls off, right? Maybe it's 
um, the way that the pants go on, the legs really open up at the bottom. So I don't have to take my shoes off. If I have, if I get soiled really quickly and I need to just take it off and put a new one on, I have to worry about taking the shoes off because that is, in itself is a big project. Um, we're talking about a lot of different things we may not even think about if we're, in, if you're, if we're not disabled ourselves. that makes putting clothes on and off when I have mobility issues, when I have various chronic pain issues between different kinds of uniquely thoughtful zippers and buttons in just the right places that make it easier to get clothing on and off. That's what Joe and Bella is focused on. Um, and I definitely recommend knowing what's out there because you never know that you may, you may actually benefit now from some of those things. Um, you may actually find it easier. And their focus is to create a fashion brand that anybody would want to wear. One that anybody would say, oh, that looks great. I want to wear that. <laughs> it happens to be easier to put on and off than something else. I would have thought, uh, you know, I noticed, you know, it's like after, you know, after COVID, you know, most people were wearing, um, uh, leggings and sweaters and t-shirts and you know so um, styling wasn't exactly what we were doing then <laughs> and so it that's makes right. it a little more difficult <laughs> that's right well, i appreciate so much benjamin you're on the show because you you just massive amounts of information you have are so good for our listeners so tell everybody how they can find you if they want to well, KelshCommunities.com is all of our memory care independent assisted living communities. My email is bms at KelshSenior.com. And our telephone is 360-867-1900. Perfect. Thanks again so much. I always enjoy having you on the show because just the wealth of knowledge that you have is just so good for me. So, And, and our listeners for sure. So thanks so much and you have a great day. Thank you, Kim. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Life Happens with Kim Hegwood. Be sure to tune in every Thursday at 10 a.m. wherever you listen to your podcast as we navigate through the challenges that emerge as life happens. The content of this podcast does not establish an attorney-client relationship or constitute attorney-client privilege, legal, medical, financial, or any other professional advice. 